Guess what I just got? No, it isn't a new phone. Whoops, sorry. Whoops, you got me. I just got lollipop on my device. That's right. So, let's make our second video on lollipop, a lollipop exclusive. This is Home UX Launcher, which is an exclusive to lollipop, and I can't grow tired of saying that because I just got lollipop. I'm Phil Monier with Masala Tech, and this is our Home UX Launcher beta video review. This launcher is beautiful. It's full of animations which are simply gorgeous. I mean, look at that. And it stinks. Seriously, it stinks. The thing stinks of material design and I love it. Seriously, this is beautiful. So the launcher is very simple. It's basically like your app grid. Instead of swiping uh, left or right between pages you swipe down or up or up or down however you want to say it but let's say that here we have too many apps in this category because you sort your apps by categories or folders as you wish to call them but here we have more apps so we swipe to the right instead of up or down now as you can see the top panel which is the clock panel can be swiped if you swipe right you have the option to see your folders or add a new folder, so let's add a folder. Uh, uh, yeah. mm -hmm. Save. There we go. And there's an our new folder called. Uh, what's it called? Our folder called. So you can toy, you can tap on your folders to switch between them. If you want to add an app to this folder, you simply. Hold on an app, tap on the folder thing, well, drag it to the folder thing. You have the option to add it to, uh, move it to, uh, remove it or hide it. So yes, you can hide your apps. Now you can change the order on which your folders are presented. And to delete a folder, you simply drag it down to the garbage bin. Now if you can see here that we have some icons. Now this is the action panel, which is basically a dock. Because it doesn't matter on which page you are, it remains there. So if we tap here, it will open the Google Play Music. If we tap here, tap here, it will open Sunrise Calendar. Or whatever you set it to. The icons do not set themselves automatically, so you have to find an icon that fits, just like with the folders. And now if you swipe on the clock, you swipe it right, you are presented with the settings, so you can change the wallpaper, you can back up it, system settings, you can change the icon pack, as you can see I am using Moonshine icon pack, you can hide your apps, uh, pretty much half of my apps are hidden, and you can jump into the UX settings, so let's do that. You can change the app grid height, app grid width, app icon size, hide or show app labels, Enable the start animation, hide apps background, so let's just enable it, so you can see the difference. It looks pretty nice, however I like my wallpaper, so I will probably just keep it hidden. Whoops, wrong settings, there we go. So let's just hide apps background. You can change the app uh, transition, the app page transition, and you can hide your apps from the old folder, so let's say that you have your apps in the old folder, if you move all of those apps to different categories, they will be hidden from the old folder. And we have just changed the animation. So let's check it out. Very nice, there are lots of animations to choose from. Now the rest of the settings, the action panel, the action panel is, is what we call the dock. Or what I like to call the dock. You can enable or disable it. Use the primary folder color. And you have the option to modify the clock. Well, only slightly, pretty much only how it's formatted. You can change the defaults, and if you swipe to the right, you have the option to reset the app. You can see that the beta expires on September the 1st. And you can pre-order the final pro release. Now, 
this app is a beta and with that being said we can expect lots of bugs a lack of stability a lack of features and that is what is presented to us there is no widget support unfortunately I am a big widget guy because I depend on my calendar and what other thing do I dislike well Sorry if it sounds like I'm just trashing the app, but this is very annoying. So if we edit our communication folder, as you can see, the local alphabetical sorting is disabled. So let's go back into the folder. This means that we should be able to move the apps around. So we have WhatsApp right here. If I wanted to move it to the top left corner, it doesn't work. Now let's try to move YouTube, it doesn't work, the apps are forcefully arranged in alphabetical order because of this bug and I really dislike it because I would like to uh, move say my phone to the left then WhatsApp and you get me. Now there is one final thing which really gets on my nerves, the action panel you can modify its transparency. So, if I tell you, the action panel's transparency is set to 100%. This should mean that the transparency on the action panel is fully transparent. This is not the case. Uh, in my opinion, it should be the other way around. If the transparency was set to 0%, then it should be a solid color instead of what we see here now that the transparency is set to 0% it's fully transparent it should be the other way around in my opinion so this launcher well it's a beta of course all of these things that I have mentioned will be ironed out by the developers they are working right now on widget support the beta is private so to join it you have to request an invite on the Google Plus group but the launcher is beautiful, I mean, it's a beta still and I use it as my daily driver. Yes, I ditched Bento and Action Launcher for this, I am sorry, but I just love the aesthetics of this. And that's all for today. If you like what you see, make sure you pre-order, give us a like, subscribe. I'm Phil Munier with Masala Tech. I will see you next time. Adios. Please give it a thumbs up and a like, check out our Twitter and our website at masalatech.com. Remember to always keep things spicy.